crafters raquel here with paints and glitter and i welcome you to the third part of the tutorial series for the memories to cherish from tonic studios die set i am just sharing with you how i will be making the interior pages and you just saw a snippet of a picture of the actual set of dies by tonic studios they are currently sold out however if they do bring them back i will uh, definitely be adding a link to the description bar of this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy this content. Here what I've done is cut four pieces of paper that I did use the die set for. You can cut uh, different uh, size pages and what I've done here is that on that free edge that the die does not cut, you can cut it down to the size that you like because the dies will only cut on three sides. So on that portion there, what you saw me do was add adhesive. I did cut those tabs down to about a quarter of an inch in width. Uh, you can do that or just cut it to half an inch uh, wide, whichever uh, size you're comfortable with. Then add the adhesive and fold it over and that will create a tab that will allow you to then adhere the page or the tabs onto the base of the mini album, which is what you see me doing here. Now I like to match the pages and overlap them so that way I see the distance that they will be able to fit into and this will allow me to create balance on the mini album by having those uh, pieces of paper overlap exactly and that's why I place one on top of the other as you see me doing here and then I'll just fold over the tab and allow it to adhere to the base. And once I know it's nice and straight, then I will apply pressure. I do love using a bone folder when I create mini albums. It is a great tool that you can use that will allow you to apply pressure onto paper without crumpling or leaving a divot onto that page. So once I apply all four of these pieces onto the base page, I will be covering them with the designer paper with the exception of the back of these pieces. So that way the recipient, the recipient can either place a date that corresponds to the pictures she may add, or even a small quote or sentiment. Here you see me applying magnets. This is something that I love to do on the mini albums for a couple of reasons. If you're going to create an interactive page on a book, it's great to be able to open and close those pages without them moving freely. And that way, when the person turns the page of the mini album, those pieces of paper are not just loose and getting caught also on other pieces of paper that you may have on the opposing page. Here, I've measured out the distance between those two flaps. And I'm using a pencil, as you can tell, just to mark the base page. I've already cut this out with the decorative die that I intend on using, but you're gonna see how I also go ahead and overlap that same die. I'm gonna match it up with the edge and run it again. And there you see, I get to remove the portion I don't need. And with one die, I was able to create an actually wider piece of paper. So that is a great technique to use. And be sure to follow me so that you can watch my videos and get little tips and tricks like that that I like to share. All of my mini album videos will have uh, a particular tip that I like to use. So if you don't hear it here, you might hear it on a different video. But the point is that I like to share what I've uh, learned along the way because it is helpful and it also expands uh, your library of the different dies that you have when you discover that you can use them in several different ways. While you're here, I will remind you that this is a three-part series, so if you haven't caught the other two videos, I do invite you to watch them. On the first video, you'll see the foundation of this book. 
And then in the second video, you will see the beginnings of the pages and how I apply them into the mini album. And of course, this video is all just the decorative portion of things. So you will see me kind of repeat different uh, techniques, which are just adding foundation pieces and then decorating them. Now on the upper right hand corner of your screen, what you're seeing is a second video. And all that is, is showing you the waterfall portion of this die set because it did come with that extra piece that you can then cut, you can fold and then follow the score marks so that you can create an interactive portion, which you will see me add now to this page on the right hand side. It's a lot of fun to add, of course, these types of elements into a mini album and then inside of those little pieces of paper, you can either write little notes, um, you can definitely add more pictures if you like. And on this portion that you see me coloring, the die set allows for you to emboss the paper right in the center with a sentiment. Because I did it on white cardstock, I wanted that to show a little bit more. So I've used Catherine Pooler ink and also Shimmer Pen from Tonic Studios just to add that little bit of shine. And that way when the recipient opens that panel, she'll be able to read what it says. And this is just a piece of paper that will also anchor this mechanism onto the mini album. So because I used 110 pound cardstock, I am using these dimensional pieces of adhesive. They come like little squares or you can buy it on a roll and then cut it down to size. But the idea here is to create a bit of dimension so that my moving element will be a little bit elevated from the page and that way it won't get stuck. So you see me there folding it and I'll do that several times. And of course, that little piece there that you see me uh, adhering again, uh, it fell off, but I can just quickly reapply it. So if you find that that happens, I would say just don't press the panic button. <laughs> just apply a little bit more glue as you see me doing here, because this happens to everyone. Uh, you think something is secure and it, it's not necessarily so. So another tip that I would give you is if you are going to gift or sell a mini album, please allow yourself 24 hours for all of the glue to completely dry so that way you know it's nice and secure. The little tab that you see me applying here also comes with the mini album collection, but Tonic Studios has several different options of different shape tags and tabs that are a lot of fun to use in the books, especially when you have something that you kind of want to point out um, that will move on the page. And if you don't have that, then you can certainly use any other type of um, paper or die cut. Now, moving on to my favorite page in this book, I'm using the embroidery hoop die set in the cir circular shape that you see me cutting here. I've used the largest die in that collection there to cut out a piece of acetate. And I've also used it paired with the smaller die that you see on the pink piece of paper. And that will allow me to create a little window. So now I'm removing that smaller portion, which I won't be using. And those dies, by the way, come in different shapes. I'll be using several of them in this book. So I've used the circular one that you see me using here. I've used the uh, rectangular one and I believe, yes, and the oval one. But here you see me apply that circle right on top of the acetate. And then I place a, an acrylic block on top just to allow that to dry completely flat. And then on what will be the background, I am using one eighth of an inch th thick um, foam adhesive. This is going to create a barrier and you see me there just completing it and making sure that it's nice and uh, sealed. And now I'm going to fill that in with sequins because of course this is going to be a shaker. One of my other favorite things to add in a mini album. And of course we all do it, but you know, I think it's fun. So I'll just remove now the backing to that adhesive. And this stuff is really, really strong. So I'll leave a link for that as well. 
if you need to pick some up I highly recommend it and that does come from scrapbook.com and now I can place my little piece on top and there you have it it's an adorable little shaker and of course I won't end it there but that panel that you see me applying this onto is the same size as the one I previously did so that's why I didn't repeat it because you apply it onto the page the same way as you've seen me do so already and then in this case instead of just applying a flat piece of paper then I went ahead and applied the shaker and then for these decorative pieces of paper I just decided to back them up back to back so that it would be pretty on both sides and then this is going to be where she can place a photo and I've added another little tab piece here just to point out that it will be removable from the page and this is to, just going to tuck right behind that little um, uh, panel and then that gold little bow which I am completely in love with <laughs> is from the shoe die set from tonic studios i just thought it was so adorable and i had one left over so i added it to this book as well so there you have it that looked like a little camera to me so i did get out my nouveau drops in both uh, sage green and gold and i had it uh <laughs> or went at it i should say and decorated the entire edge and then i added this other circular die cut piece that I did cut out using a designer's choice die set. Um, now I'm adding this little tab. This is supposed to of course be added uh, the same way as I did the previous one. But here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this differently. I went ahead and folded a piece of twine in half and where the um, center portion meets the paper there I'm applying adhesive and then folding it over onto itself and then a little bit more glue and then that's going to go right on that corner of what looks like a camera and then I'm adding some little tags these tags also come with the die set they're super cute so it's another opportunity there for the recipient to either take them off or leave them as is and of course either add smaller photos or any type of little notes now this set here is just um, a corner pocket this was also from another designer series uh, or designers choice option that you could purchase from tonic studios but if you don't have anything like that that's okay you can just cut out a triangle and fold two edges of it down by a quarter of an inch and then cut a little portion of the corner and then you can definitely create a pocket in the same manner this just has this adorable decorative corner or edge that I wanted to um, to use in this book. So I'm removing the adhesive there on the bottom and applying a little bit more liquid glue and then fold that over and that gives me a nice straight edge. And on this page I was thinking of how you would perhaps want to add pictures of um, maybe a masculine photo or the photo of a male member of your family or anything like that that you don't want to create um, too much cutesy colors or pinks and that sort of thing then you can go ahead and just use the darker papers and still use something that's decorative and frilly and pretty but um, use the metallic papers that sort of thing and that way you can add a photo that's not necessarily matchy-matchy uh, with the page and it'll still look really nice because it's a nice neutral foundation and I hope that makes sense but here I'm just making sure that the piece of paper there will fit or the photo mat and then I'm adding the sentiment it says friends and family this is also included with the die set it's absolutely stunning I'm loving the font that they use for this collection. I think it's just one of the prettiest ones I've seen. Here is the back page. This is the final page of the mini album. And on here I am using the oval die set that is the from the Embroidery Hoop collection. I had mentioned this previously. And I'm simply going to uh, mat that in that decorative paper and apply it there so that an oval shape picture can be added. 
And then for the smaller one, what I decided to do was to use it as the foundation where I will be placing little flowers and a sentiment and just anything uh, cute that can be added to the page. Later on, I will be sharing pictures and I'll do a small walkthrough of the actual book once it's completed. You won't see that in this video because I did decide to decorate it with Nouveau drops and just allow it to dry completely. And I didn't have that done by the time I filmed this. So please come back to see the walkthrough. It'll be a super short video. And this tiny cute little bow here was given to me by the lovely Isabel, who is the shabby hippie here on YouTube. So be sure to look her up. She does some adorable um, journals and that sort of thing. So um, I truly appreciate that. So thank you so much, Isabel, if you're watching. Um, and then I've added little gems, nouveau drops to those little flowers, as well as shimmers uh, or shimmer sprays and that sort of thing. Now here, that portion that you see is also another element that comes with this mini album, that which I think is kind of unique. It allows you to thread either a ribbon or twine, as you see me using here. It's, this is pink twine, and then you can add it to the pages, and it's meant to look as if it will slip and slide, but I did add foam adhesive behind it, and that will be static, but it does have a cute little sentiment. And then here, all I did was fold piece of paper in three and allow myself a little tab as well that tab is maybe a half an inch wide and then I'm going to be gluing these two pieces of paper together to create an accordion fold area in which she can add more pi pictures and that's gonna go right behind the uh, die cut and all I did was measure that die cut and then cut the paper down to the same width so that way I would know that it would fit and then you're gonna see me kind of shape it and all that stuff because I did want to make sure that the corners were the same um, you know with the little bit of that oval shape and then here I discovered that I needed another little tab so this is super easy to make you just cut out a one inch wide piece of paper to the same width of the the paper that you're trying to add to your book and then that allows you to create a tab to connect any element. So if you don't have the dies, that's another way to do it. And so here I'm just gonna apply the adhesive on that edge and I'll add my folded piece with that mountain fold facing the edge of that paper. And here's where you see me shaping those edges to make sure that it matches because I am finicky. <laughs> no other reason than that. And if you're watching this video as soon as it does publish right now, the scissors you see me using are on sale over at Tonic Studios. Be sure to grab some. You will not regret it. If there's anything I can recommend from Tonic Studios, it is their scissors. They did begin as a company that only sold scissors. So you can imagine they have years of experience in cutting paper. <laughs> um, so it's just, it's good stuff. I will only recommend things on this channel that I'm really, really um, pleased with. So that would be one. Here is the tool that I can never remember what it's called, but uh, they're made by Mem We Are Memory Keepers, and you can use them to uh, cut down paper. So that one just gave me a half an inch there um, beveled edge on that tab that I wanted to add, and that's just to cover up the edge of the paper because I didn't like the contrast of the white against the striped paper so that was just a you know preference thing now on the back here of this accordion fold because the paper was white i did add more decorative panels just to make it pretty on every other fold this way it will also match the cover and then i of course decided to add a foundation piece as well this is going to give just a little bit more of a finished look and I did use that rounded uh, paper punch or whatever it's called. 
Now, because this is a moving element, as I mentioned before, I am adding magnets. And this is, of course, so that it's not moving freely on the page. But aside from the magnets, there are other ways to anchor a moving uh, element onto a page, and you're going to see me do that as well. So this is actually going to be super secure onto this page, but it's also going to look pretty. And then to hide this particular magnet, which is the, the one that's going to help everything kind of just uh, hang tight, <laughs> I'm using that little circle, and that was just left over from another piece that I had cut. I just didn't want to waste the paper and decided that was good enough. And I added hot glue because the other adhesive just wasn't cooperating with me at the moment. So I hope that you have at least uh, gained some inspiration with this video. Please feel free to leave me a comment and don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Uh, interacting with the videos on YouTube will not only allow for um, this channel to, of course, receive your support, but it also lets YouTube know what kind of uh, videos you enjoy. So it's just a, a great way to leave feedback and it also lets me know that it's worthwhile to share these types of videos with you. I love making mini albums. I've just fallen in love with this type of craft and I hope that you are enjoying that on this channel as well. Now here's another way that you can decorate any panel and this is a very inexpensive way to go about it as well. Th these are rub-ons from the dollar store and this was just some meant to look like old French script and it didn't go on perfectly for me because I was impatient and ripped it out too quickly. However, I decided that's just going to make it look kind of shabby chic. So I took my rubber eraser and then I just took off little portions here and there and it's fine. It was just meant to be decorative for the paper that's uh, supposed to be receiving a picture anyway. So that was just one little way to decorate that. Onto that page, I've also added, I'm sorry, the opposing page, I added a sentiment. But onto that uh, front cover, going back to that i did add these adorable little photo corners i just wanted to uh, continue to decorate this book with the little details that just call out to me uh, that i enjoy and these photo corners are just so dainty and lovely so aside from adding those i did go ahead and decorate the center that belly band that you see i added yet another element from this collection that has a little sentiment in the center and I just tucked in the thread uh, right with the belly band. And then I also decorated all of this using diamond dots. And this is just to add a, that little bit of glimmer and shine that I so love adding to my mini albums. On this page, what you're seeing me do is that I use some golden ribbon that I had. And this is kind of like a glitter ribbon and I'm adding it as the tab instead of using the paper ones. And that's just to create a bit of interest, of course, and it matches the gold on the foundation page. And then I'm also adding another piece of gold paper there at the bottom that does have a little sentiment and it came with the collection. It came with tons of little sentiments that you could add to a book, so it's super useful. And then on the photo corners there that I had previously added, I'm also uh, adhering the diamond dots just to make the book look cohesive and add the little bits of shine here and there in the same color. Now on this page, I decided to add a shaker. I did make this using another collection 
and it had the little swirls and butterflies so I added uh, gold and green sequins inside of that shaker and I did back up the panel with the butterflies with vellum and then topped it off with the little gems. On the opposing page where I added the waterfall I went ahead and topped that off with a little heart that I created using Tonic Studios dies as well as Nouveau Drops to color in the little spaces that have the little flowers and then I finished off the page with some photo corners and you did see a third finger there in the corner and that was just my husband who had stopped by. <laughs> I didn't even notice that till now <laughs> so no I don't have three hands. <laughs> But these little photo corners are just super adorable. They add a bit of whimsy, which is something that I love to add to mini albums. And it's just a great way to complete a page. I did certainly add um, more little gems. And here I wanted to add to this page yet another little element that I had cut and I just forgot about it. So it is a little heart shaped tag. And that was using yet another die set <laughs> but it's just a little element there that i thought matched nicely with the page and i could easily uh, tag it on if you will and then again another little sentiment just making use of all of the pieces that i had cut out and when i get a set of dies i do like to take one large sheet of paper and just cut everything out just all of the sentiments all of the little pieces and it just makes it a lot easier that way now these flowers i'm adding on the cover finally um, and i did use nouveau products to add shimmer and shine to those flower petals i added nouveau mousse and then i just sprayed it with um, some golden nouveau spray uh, if I find them, of course, um, in the listings of the, the products, then I'll go ahead and add it so that you can see what I'm referring to in the description bar of the video, of course. So I'm just going to make use of all of the pieces that I had cut out, have tons of fun decorating this cover, adding the sentiment that is the title of the videos as well as the name of the mini album collection, which is Memories to Cherish and that was cut out using gold cardstock and I definitely uh, added little gems to that as well. So as I've said before, this has been a lot of fun to put together and film and um, it's just a, a great way to use the supplies that you may have. If you have found it to be inspiring or if it's given you any ideas whatsoever, I do appreciate it if you leave me a comment or any feedback, if this is content that you enjoy. And as I've already mentioned, I will come back and do a small walkthrough of the uh, mini album. So I just hope that you would come back and share what you make. Also, if you have this die set, if you have any other of the die sets from Tonic Studios or just enjoy mini albums, uh, please do share it in the comments. I would love to come by your channel and see what you've made because I also gain inspiration from others and it's just fun to have you know community and get to know each other better and what better way to do that than to uh, leave a little comment so I'll leave you to watch the rest of this of course it's almost done and as I always say I hope that you can be inspired and be blessed and I thank you so much for watching bye bye